Hello travelers and welcome back to Tourist to Local. Last year we moved from Mexico to the USA and it was a huge adjustment for us. It was. A few weeks ago I can finally visit my country again. So it was so exciting, but also when I came back I was talking to Juliana and I told her everything that I miss. So we start a full conversation of everything that we miss about Mexico. Yeah, it turns out a lot of things he missed were also things I missed even right. though I wasn't born there, but I did spend three years there and man, there's a lot of good things about Mexico. Two weeks ago we made such a great announcement. Yeah, we uh, announced to you guys that we're going to make it our new goal to visit every state in the USA and Mexico. Right. And yeah, as a part of that, we've been reflecting on just all the things we're excited to experience in Mexico very, very soon. You guys don't want to miss some upcoming videos we have. So today we're going to be sharing the top things we miss most about Mexico. Let's go for it. The first thing, of course, it will be food. That the street food is very tasty and very affordable. I was telling Juliana, um, when I went to Mexico, I went to the market in Tepoztlan and then I have like a tortita de Jamaica with the blue corn, big tortilla, and then put mole on top, and then I put another sauce, and then I have two quesadillas, one of with la coche, another one of um, flor de calabaza, and then I have like an agua fresca, and then I have this and yeah, that, and after the that, I just pay like, 150 pesos. Yeah, exactly. With just a few bucks, you can eat like a king and the food is really tasty. Um, by comparison, here in the US, street food isn't really a thing where we live. We do live in a primarily Latino neighborhood where we do have a guy come by selling elote every now and then. <laughs> That's but right. still, even that, it's five bucks. It's like, what? Oh That's my right. God. That's right. So definitely miss being able to eat cheap and eat well while doing it. Second thing that we miss most about living in Mexico is time with family obviously missing Martin's family but just the value of family in general and all, all the parties that come with that family is huge in Mexico it is the most important thing you hear that all the time I thought like I love my family in the US but in Mexico it is really really important yeah uh, people end up gathering a few times a week usually uh, and with that There'll be spontaneous parties out of nowhere where everyone's up till like 4 a.m. No joke. Uh, I go to bed very early, so I, yeah, I had a hard time <laughs> with the late parties, but That's it right. was still something that was so cool to me to see how everybody will just gather and have a great time. And even before I met Martin and had my Mexican family there, I studied in Mexico for a summer and felt that same way. I felt like, Family is beyond just blood. It is, people will let you into their homes, barely even knowing you, and tell you like, you have a place to stay if you ever need it. Even with like my aunt who lives in this other state that you've never right. even met her. Like, yeah. it, how, every, how treat everyone like are. family. That's yeah. right, that's yeah. right. Well, you were talking about the parties till 4 a.m. <laughs> that <laughs> also is connected with the, the third point that we miss about Mexico is uh, that Mexicans live in the present. I know that there are some cultures that uh, mainly they live in the past and they preserve those values. And also there are some cultures that they live in the future, which is a good thing. Like because, the United States, I would yes, say lives in the future. Right. We're always planning for the future. Um, since you're a kid, like in school, what do you want to be when you grow up? Future, future, future. That's correct. And I think the Mexicans, most of us, we live in the present. So we enjoy the present and we're not very worried about what's going to happen in the future or we're not very nostalgic about what happened in the past. We're just living in the present and we enjoy it that much that maybe we enjoy it too much <laughs> and we're not planning enough for the future. But that's uh, that's part of our culture. Yeah, and that was definitely something that took me huge adjusting to get used to. And that's kind of why I like that version of myself mm -hmm. who lived in Mexico, because in reality, I'm a planner. I plan everything. And so when spontaneous parties would happen, I'd be like, but there's work tomorrow. But what about all this stuff? Oh, ah, uh, ah. What time is going to finish? <laughs> yeah, what time is it going to finish? What time is it going to finish? <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I definitely learned that living in the present is a big deal over there. And that's kind of why every day is like its own little adventure. That's right. Something also that I like about this point is like, uh, we can make plans like this. Uh, it, like, uh, oh, so right now we can uh, continue this 
talk in you guys' apartment. Oh yeah, let's yeah. do it. Or like, let's go to uh, right now to Acapulco. Let's yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah. Like, we ended up having a lot of spontaneous sleepovers at our friend's house. Right. <laughs> like, right. We were eating in one place and we we're like, oh, let's go to your guys' place. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> or yeah, something like that. Yeah. It was, it was uh, la espontaneidad. Yeah, exactly. I agree. <laughs> Number four. It will be the fruits and vegetable selection. I don't want to say like how cheap it is to go to a supermarket or a market in Mexico, but also the selection of fruits that we have right now that I, I visited. Making a comparison, we eat where we buy produce over here. Oh my God, I went to Mexico and I have mango and we have mango all year long. Also papaya, also like big sandias, also Oh, big selection of fruit, guayabas, guayabas. I went to Tepoztlan and they have like these guayabas, these big and uh, all pink inside. My God. Yeah, I, I like, and it's not to say that we don't have those things here. It's just in Mexico, they tend to be a lot juicier and more flavorful. Yeah, I mean, tinge. I think you guys get all the good stuff to be honest. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, there's a lot, a lot to choose from. I was able to buy a lot of avocados without being broke. Yeah, <laughs> I have to exactly. Say that. That's true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and speaking of which, the next one is number five. The price of things in general in Mexico is a lot cheaper. Uh, I know we live in California. Yeah, you know? we have a pretty extreme comparison, I would say, especially with all the inflation on top of everything. We have we have been thrown into a new world of prices here. But it's just just to set an example for uh, taking an Uber from the north of the city that I was born to the south. It was like a 25 minute drive, 30 minute, minute ride. And it was around 60 pesos. That is like around $3, $3 you know? $3. And for me it was a wow, because <laughs> I, I'm used to I, I'm used to American prices and California yeah. prices on top of that. So for me it was, wow, this yeah. is so cheap. I did that same, to compare it, in Long Beach, I took a ride from the airport to the cruise terminal. It was 25 bucks. So right. Gotta miss those prices. Number six, it will be the happiness of Mexican people. And also I want to talk about uh, materialism because in Mexico, I've seen a lot of people that without a lot of things, they're completely happy. They're truly happy and uh, they want to keep you or they want to make you feel good with uh, much or little that they have. Mm -hmm. and, and they make you feel welcome in your home. Doesn't matter if they can offer you only a piece of fruit or a glass of water, but they make, they are truly happy. And uh, I miss that. Number seven, I really miss the music. Uh, there's something special about all the regional music in Mexico, whether it's banda or mariachi. I mean, I've been guilty of crying to a mariachi song every now and then, even though I sometimes don't understand what they're singing about. You can feel all the emotion in their voice. And just in general, music is all around you in Mexico. Mm -hmm. you, I mean, people playing on the bus, on, on the street, everywhere, like you're passing yeah. by and just constantly changing music. And um, I really miss that. Yeah, it's a really uh, a big part of our culture. Mm -hmm. you're right. Number eight, it will be spicy food. Even though I have to clarify that I'm not the biggest fan of the spicy food. Like my father said, like I don't eat a lot of spicy in comparison with him. I've been putting a lot of sauces in every single food that I have in Mexico when I visited. And when I came back, I do my normal lunch over here. And I said like it's missing something, yeah. so I have to go to Trader Joe's to buy this <laughs> <laughs> this sauce that I have to add a little bit of spiciness in it because I miss it. I really miss it, even though. I tell you again, I'm not like the biggest fan of spicy. I still need some. Number nine, we miss the sounds and colors of Mexico. We already talked a little bit about sounds of music, <laughs> but in it's so funny because in the US, at least where we live, a lot of the houses look the same. Kind of everything is just very neutral colors. In Mexico, you could have a purple building next to a yellow building. Everybody does their own thing. And as a result, it ends up being super colorful. Um, and that's so fun. It just feels so full of life. And it's one of those things where you just, you never know what you're gonna find around every street corner. Right. Well, there's one that we don't miss like the Pero lavadora y todo el fierro viejo que venda. That was a she sound. Learned it. Yeah, that she was learned a it. sound that I learned <laughs> meant I could not take a nap or sleep in what because else? that was always happening. What was the other one in Puerto Vallarta? Oh, um, 
Sonic Ass. El Gas. Ya llegó Sonic Ass. Ya llegó Sonic Ass. Like, like. Oh my god. You know, new dream is that they um, hire us to sing the song. I think we did a great job just okay. now. We can do that. We can do it. And um, talking about colors, I would like to give a little hint over here because the next state that we're gonna visit, it's gonna be in Mexico, and it has a lot of colors. In my opinion, the most color of every single state in Mexico. I'm so pumped. I won't <laughs> say no more. Number 10, it will be the cost of health. I, For everyone, doesn't matter the country, it's very important, the health. And in Mexico, it's very affordable in comparison with the US, <laughs> my God. Wow, every single time that we visit doctors for an eye appointment or uh, dental issues or whatever, I can see the cost over here and when I compare it to Mexico, it's like a big deal. Yeah, it is. And what's also cool is that you don't need a prescription for uh, the pharmacy as well. So yeah, you can it buy- It depends on the- It depends, but, but- Yeah, mainly you don't. Yeah, and so you could buy things like Retin-A, without having a doctor's prescription, which is really cool. And it tends to be very, very affordable. Right, or also there's some some pharmacies that they have the doctor next to it. That you just have mm -hmm. to pay 8, 80 pesos, that is $4. So they can give you the prescriptions for the thing that yeah, you Yeah, it's very quick too, to find a doctor. Whereas right. here, it took us like two months to be able to do an annual right. checkup. So right. That's a big difference. Uh, <laughs> and then the last one, number 11, how easy transport is there? There's a lot of options that are catered to the working class, which I love. Here in the US, many of you guys know, there, the transportation options are very limited. They can even be very expensive and very long to get from one point to another. So I love how there's a lot of buses you can take it within a city, also between cities. Planes are very cheap. And also walking is like a common thing and super easy to do. You could just walk from one point That's to another. That's exactly what I wanted to say. I'm a walker. Mm -hmm. So I really, uh, I truly believe that the best way to know a city is to walk. So whenever I'm in a new city, I'm always walking and then maybe taking public transportation and then go from one place to the other because that, that's the best way to see and to know a city. But over here in the US, there were some cities that the public transportation or uh, the options to walk uh, through the city, they're very limited. So those are just a few of our thoughts on what we miss about Mexico. And actually, we're super curious, for those of you guys who have been to Mexico or maybe lived in Mexico, what do you miss about Mexico? Or maybe born in Mexico and right now you guys yeah. are living in the US and what do you guys miss about Mexico? Yeah, we wanna hear, let's celebrate it in the comments down below, <laughs> all right? And I guess that's it for this video. This is gonna be it. All right, so long. Travel well. And make the world your neighborhood. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Curious what camera gear we use while traveling? Want to rock some of our awesome merch? Or maybe you just want a discount with some of our favorite companies? Make sure to check out the description of this video for links to all these things and more.